Walsh Surname Meaning and History, presented by COADB.com, where you can obtain affordable genealogy research. Surname Meaning Welsh is a Scottish surname denoting a person from Wales or a person who spoke the Welsh language, derived from the Old English word Wil Wilsk. The form Walsh was more common in Ireland, where it denoted any of the Welshmen who arrived in the wake of Strongbow's invasion of Ireland in the year 1170. And the form Welch is the English variant of the surname. Early bearers included Halen Walsh in Ireland in the year 1171, Simon Welsh in Bedfordshire, England in 1279, John Walsh in Roxburgh, Scotland in 1330, Roger Welch in Essex, England in 1334, and John Walsh in Roxburgh in 1360. Noble titles held included the Walsh Baronetcy of Little Ireland in the county of Waterford, a title created in the Baronetage of Ireland in 1645 for Sir James Walsh, and the title became extinct on the death of the second baronet, Sir Robert Walsh, around the year 1690. The Walsh Baronetcy of Ormonthwaite in the county of Cumberland and of Warfield in the county of Berkshire was created in 1804 for Sir John Walsh, who was born John Ben, but assumed by royal license the surname Walsh in accordance with the will of his wife's uncle, Sir Robert Walsh, born 1726, who was a scientist and secretary to the governor of Bengal who purchased the estate of Warfield Park, which we see on the right. He was employed by the East India Company, served as High Sheriff of Radnorshire, and was a member of Parliament for Bletchingley. Sir John Walsh, 2nd Baronet, High Sheriff of Berkshire and Radnorshire, and also a member of Parliament, was elevated to the peerage as Baron Ormthwaite in 1868, and he was succeeded by his son, Arthur Walsh, 2nd Baron, who was also a member of Parliament. And here we see Margaret, who was the mother of Sir John Walsh, the 1st Baron, Landed gentry included Walsh of Mulhussey in County Roscommon, Ireland, represented in the 19th century by Valentine John Hussey Walsh, a barrister at law. And the family was seated at Kilduff House in the 19th century, and they descended from the Walshes of Castle Hole, which remains we see here. They descended from Richard Walsh of Brennig, son of Hoyle Walsh, who built Castle Hole, or Hoyle. And he was the son of Philip, who was alive in the year 1174, who was said to be nephew of Rhys ap Griffith, the Prince of South Wales. Philip had brothers David and Geoffrey, and David was the ancestor of the Walsh family of Carrick Mines. There was also Walsh of Larog in County Cavan, Ireland. One member of this family was Langton Prendergast Walsh, born 1856, who served in Egypt, Sudan, and India. There was also Walsh of Fanningstown in County Kilkenny, Ireland. They were represented in the 19th century by Peter Walsh. Welch of Arl House in County Gloucester, England, represented in the 19th century by George Asser White Walsh. He was a captain in the Royal Navy. Notables included William Walsh, born 1662 of Aberley Hall in Worcestershire, England. He was a poet, critic, and a Whig politician who sat in the English and British House of Commons. He was a descendant of Sir Walter Walsh, who I believe procured the hall, which we see here. Notables, another notable was Sanders Walsh, born 1711. He was an English businessman, justice of the peace for Middlesex, and policing pioneer. There was also David Walsh, born 1793, a Scottish divine and academic, who was moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland in 1842. There was also Sir Nicholas Walsh, born 1542, an Irish judge who was Speaker of the House of Commons and a member of Parliament. He was the son of James Walsh and the grandson of Patrick Walsh. Walsh, who were both mayors of Waterland, of Waterford, Ireland. His son, Sir Nicholas Walsh Jr. of Piltown, was one of the leaders of the Confederate 
Ireland during the Irish Rebellion of 1641. And Nicholas had an estate at Clonmore. And here we see Clanmore House that was built in 1759, so obviously too late for them to live in. But it does say here that it incorporated fabric of a medieval range from 1449. Early settlers included Jacob Walsh, who came to Boston in 1635. Mary w Welsh came to Virginia in 1635. Nicholas came in 1635. Morgan Welsh came to Virginia in 1638 all the way through Elizabeth Walsh, who came to Boston, Massachusetts in the year 1679. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, where we offer affordable genealogy research. Link in the description. Thank you very much.